YouTube, Kyle here. I'm over at the annual Freedom Antique Tractor and Farm Show. Gonna kind of walk around and talk about some of the, the uh, equipment that's here. It's got a John Deere Model R, not sure the year. But big uh, two-cylinder diesel engine. And we've got a uh, Oliver, let's see, what does it say here? Super 55. Nice little utility tractor. There's a John Deere 70 diesel. And this one's a 1960 John Deere 630. It's a two-cylinder gas tractor. It's hooked up to a John Deere 466 baler. Now it's not the one it would have been pulling in its day, but. And over here we've got a John Deere Model A. This is a 50 or a 51. It's John Deere is pulling a John Deere Sycamore. This was actually my grandpa's that he used. It's hooked up to the rocker arms. So it has the rocker arms and goes to a cable and then the cable lifts it up. You have to lay the blade down obviously. And then we've got a John Deere Model MT with a Model H Series 47 manure spreader. It's been converted just to haul kids around. This is actually the Model MT that I picked up a few weeks ago. Next to again, the Model A John Deere. <laughs> this is a John Deere 420 utility. Nice little kind of all around light duty tractors. It's got a little mower on the back of it. A little more modern there, but it's a 420 utility with an under exhaust. And then next to that is the John Deere 430 utility with a loader. So the 420 was replaced by the 430. There's actually almost an entire lineup here. We're just missing the 40. So you have the M, which was replaced by the 40, which we don't have. And then the 420 and the 430. And then the next one over is a 435. And the 435 was the diesel version of the 430. John Deere didn't have a diesel tractor ready at the time, or diesel engine. John Deere didn't have a diesel engine available at the time, so they went to General Motors. And General Motors, um, use the uh, 253 for the 435. It's a beautiful day here in Star Valley. You can see the colors on the hill look nice. Again, here's the 435. Started doing some paint work to it this summer and don't have the decals and stuff done on it but it's a fun little tractor and over here we've got a dump rake so back before the side delivery rakes they would use this uh, dump rake to make their rows and then they'd reuse a buck rake to push the rows over to the stackers here we've got the John Deere 7520. It's got a chisel plow on it. And next to that's a 5020. The 5020 and the 7520 have the same engine. Just the 7520 has a turbo, where that 5020 does not. And they've got some big tires on this thing. It's a big tractor.
And there's the 50-20. This is a case Model L. It's not running. I've been working on it. Uh, I believe it should also be gray. All the case model L's should be gray, but it's up on the list, so hopefully before too long. It's a 37, I believe, Model L. Kind of a standard tractor. Kind of a fun... I think it'll be a fun one when it's running. It's just a big platform, just kind of a big, beefy one. It does have a PTO on it. And the next one, we have a Farmall F30. This is a 1936 Farmall F30, made in, I believe, November of 35. And this is pulling a um, international rake. It's probably a little newer rake than what the tractor would have had, but. So you would cut the hay with the mower that's on that Model A over there that I mentioned earlier. Then after it dries a little bit, you would rake the hay into windrows. No hydraulics, but it does have a PTO. Big tractor, this would have been a pretty big row crop for its day. Next to the F30, we've got an F20. So it's a smaller version of the F30. That's actually an F30N for narrow, and this is an F20N for narrow as well. So they're a little bit more rare. But as you can see, it's just a small version of the F30. Pretty much the same tractor, just everything's a little bit smaller. So here we have two Super M's. This is a just a standard Super M, and that's a Super MTA, which has a torque amplifier. This was Farmall's replacement of the M, which was the replacement of the F30. So it went F30, M, Super M. And the MTA was a variation of that. The John Deere competitor to the Super M would have probably been the 70. So this one has um, live hydraulics and a live PTO. I've also got a plow on it. It's a three bottom plow, I think it came with the tractor actually. But you can see this attachment here makes it a live PTO where this one, this has a standard flat back, but you can see a little bit of a difference there. I think this is a newer one too. This is one of the earlier years of the Super M and this one's one of the later years of the Super M, so, well, MTA, but quite a few differences, but quite a few similarities. Again, nice plow. So, yeah, there's that lineup, kind of a lot of farm malls case, a couple John Deere's, rake and plow. So it's been a nice day. I haven't had the biggest turnout, but pretty good turnout. Again, a beautiful day in Star Valley. So here's the F20 running. Again, the F20 is next to the Super M.